how to add a slideshow to a page in Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add a slideshow to any page on Shopify. Now, first and foremost, we have the default way of adding a slideshow. For that, we can go into online store and then click on customize. Once we click on customize, this will open up the Shopify store editor and from here we can click on add section once we click on add section we can choose slideshow from here and once we add our slideshow we can choose the layout as well as the number of slides we want so you can choose the slide height that you want to opt for as well as the layout so if you want it to be full width or not then you can choose the duration of each slide so if you want, you can add the pagination, which means the scrolling style. So either you want dots at the bottom, a counter, or numbers. So I want dots over here. Then you can choose to auto rotate the slides after every couple of seconds. Below that, you also have your image behavior as well as any ambient movement you might want to include. After that, you also have mobile layout. Then you can go back and choose the number of slides. By default, two image slides are added. You can click on each individual image slide and you can click on select image to upload your images. So I'll just be using these jewelry images. And you will also see that it has a heading as well as a box on top. So if you want to remove this box, you can simply go ahead and open up your slide. And once you do that, you can remove the heading as well as remove the subheadings. Remove the button label like this. And below that, you have the overlay. And you can click on this option where it says show container on desktop. Uncheck this option to remove that container. And if you still want to keep the text, you can add that still. Simply click on your second slide, scroll down directly, and you can remove the container without having to remove the text boxes. But I want to remove all the info, so I don't want any type of dots and stuff, so I can remove that. And then I'm going to add another image on the second slide, which is going to be of these ear hoops. And then I'll just remove all the subheading and button labels and such. Once completed, our slideshow has now been created and we have a nice slideshow that we can use. However, this type of slideshow on Shopify cannot be created on all pages. Because Shopify is so easy to build, it makes it difficult for you to create a slideshow on every page. So if I want, I can click on add section and currently on the product pages, I can create a slideshow in the very same way. Then on my collections list, if I want, I can click on add section and I can add a slideshow. However, one thing to note is that if I create this slideshow on one product page, it will be added to all product pages and that can be an issue for some people. Maybe you only want slideshows to appear on this particular product, but you don't want it to appear on your regular product. So if you have this type of issue, then I recommend the second way that I'm going to be showing you. But if you don't mind displaying your side to slideshow on every type of that page. So if I'm adding this to product pages, it would be added to every product page. If I add this to my checkout page, it would be added to every checkout page. However, if you only want to add your slideshow to one individual product page, you're going to have to use an application. Now to do that, simply head back to your Shopify dashboard and then click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings, you're going to click on apps and sales channels. Once you do that, click on Shopify app store on the top right. And once you click on Shopify app store, you're going to search for slideshow. Now there are quite a few different types of slideshow tools available. Most of them do have a free plan available so you don't have to worry about, you know, paying just for a slideshow. You will see you have a few different options you can pick out from. We have the Power Image Slider as well as the Foxel Image Slider. So you can simply click on install over here on the type of slider that you prefer depending on their features. They're pretty similar so you don't have to you know worry too much and then click on install. 
Once you click on install over here, your application will now be installed into Shopify. So we're going to wait for this to be installed. And now I'm just going to pin this to my navigation. Once done, click on over here and click on choose your plan. You can continue with a free trial or you can skip and use the free version. So I am going to skip and use the free version. And from here, you can create your custom product slider as well. So you can click on set up slider and build your own customized product slider. Now, one thing to note is that with Foxell, your sliders usually are going to be product based. So you can create a product based slider. And if you want to create just image sliders, you can use some other tools such as the power image slider as well as the slider revolution. Slider Revolution also enables you to add video and you can use that to your benefit and display, you know, more interesting or dynamic content. You also have Ada IQ, which is an image slider as well. Again, you can choose their free plans or their premium versions. Their premium versions will allow you access to more features. But if you are only looking for a basic slideshow, you can go with any of their free versions to use. Simply install the preferred application that you have. And once you do that, you're going to see your basic details. You can approve subscriptions, proceed with the trial. Now, if you want to set up the, let's say we want to set up the Foxell application, I can just go on ahead, open the Foxell slider. And you just have to ensure that it is enabled in your Shopify theme store. And now usually they have a lot of uh, simple quick access buttons to do that as well. Simply click on setup slider and click on select template. Once you click on select template, click on install and add to theme. Once you do that, a new tab will open up and on the top left, it will uh, embed or enable the application. So. Over here, it is just going to enable our application. I can click on over here. And once it is done, you will see on the bottom, it says a CPS box and I can click on select products and I can select the products that I want to display. Then click on select and you can customize the products that are displayed in your slider. If you want, you can also create this in a product page. So you can go into your product page, click on add section, then click on apps, then click on the CPS box or your slider box, and then select the slider box and click on select product. Let's say I want to display my denim dress, it girl t-shirt and my bodycon dress. And let's say I also want to display these hoops and I'll click on select and then click on save. And just like that, our custom slideshow for either images or products can be created in Shopify. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.